What's up, guys? We're back. Today, on this episode, we are going to be painting these wheels. Uh, I've already started by cleaning them. I got some awesome spray from Dollar Tree. It's some degreaser. Works excellent. I, did it, I sprayed it on concentrated. Sprayed the front. Sprayed the back. It still looks pretty crappy. But we're going to be painting these wheels satin, uh, satin black. I bought these spray cans at O'Reilly's for about $13 a piece. They are set in black. I got three of them. And I got two primer, which are $12 a piece, light gray. I also picked up some rags, so that way I can help with the process. And I picked up some accessory rotor kits. Rotary accessory kit from Harbor Freight. And this is going to help with uh, sanding the uh, areas I can't get to. Um, so aside from that, I picked up some of these other things. I picked up 6080 grit sanding paper, 100 and 150 and 220 grit. And uh, also I picked up some 320 grit. And obviously I'm going to do the front sand the front sand the back get all that nasty stuff out of there i will be primering the inside and the front of the rim and um, hitting the heavier coat on the surface on the outer surface of it so hopefully i got enough product if i don't i can purchase it i bought it at o'reilly's i will start sanding and i'll give you guys an update on that all right guys i'm back it's been about an hour. Remember, this rim pretty much looked like this one with all that gloss and reflection. I think I went a little bit crazy. I've actually probably been on this. I might have been like an hour straight. Obviously, I pulled out some more tools. I had this sander sitting around and my drill. And I had a couple of um, pads, rough pads hanging around in the garage so i use those guys um you don't have to do this much work um especially for me luckily a lot of the 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 uh, actual clear coat is has peeled off except on these two right um but i did some online research and um apparently you don't have to knock off all the clear coat and i I should have known that, but I got caught up in, I don't know, in other things. And uh, so I hit it with 100 grit paper, which was pretty much, I guess it's okay. I mean, listen, it knocked the hell out of the clear coat and scratched the sh** out of the surface. Okay, so I'm going to have to go over it with the other uh possibly like the uh 220 and the, so that way it could be like a finer finish and then uh go over it with the 320 okay so that's what i'm gonna do to get the scratches out the back of it looks pretty good i just uh i sanded it down and i blew it with the blow dr oh, i'm sorry with the uh, blower uh, and I have the vacuum here to pick up as much dust as I possibly can. Now for these to get in there, obviously it's really hard. I don't want to be using my finger the whole time. Um, I was able to roll up this sanding paper on a bolt. Um, and when I did that, I'll just illustrate real quick. I'm able to, you know, kind of go in those areas um kind of stroke it up and down and around that way i can get those areas a lot easier um i don't know what else i'm missing i'm sure i'm missing a lot of it but this is where i'm at right now i'll come back after i do some fine sanding and uh the back i'm just gonna i'll probably do um maybe 220 and uh and then go from there right the higher the number the the finer the sand okay guys it's hard for me to remember because i don't really do this often but it, it feels a little rough here but guys 
with the primer i'm going to probably do two coats after all only because it's going to help uh you know covering up any imperfections stick around for that all right guys i'm back a couple minutes later i didn't spend much time maybe about five minutes i sanded it with the uh remember guys i started with the 100 grit and now i moved up to 220 and i i sanded it all in one uh one singular direction right back and forth back and forth and if you can see looks a lot better than the 100 grit but uh, i'm gonna have to go over it with the 320 and i did do it in the back also so that's a huge difference guys in the back especially um but it's looking good i'll be back going with the 320 all right guys i'm back i went over it with the 320 grit right um let me give you some advice guys don't get these stupid pads you see all those holes i shouldn't have grabbed these but i was in a hurry i had my family in the car um these are for obviously a uh sander okay mine's a square sander and uh i, I doubt it's gonna work if it does I, I don't really care for it you can't really get into the grooves with the actual sander so this defeats a lot of the purpose of what we're trying to do use it for so if you can get the uh get the big sheets guys just keep getting these okay the nine by eleven dry sanding sheets um uh, some people do wet sanding um i'm not trying to spend a day on one rim at a time so there's there's obviously levels to this guys and this is a work truck that it's going on it's my work truck so there's only so much effort that I want to put into it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the 320 grit. Looks a lot better. Feels a lot better than it looks. Um, I don't really feel the big grooves from the 100 grit or even the 220 grit. I think I'm going to leave it just like this, guys. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rinse it. Uh, I'll probably have to come back tomorrow and... Uh, pressure wash it and then let it dry and then hit it with some primer okay all right guys i'll be back with the the next clip all right guys this is day two i've already got it cleaned up last night you guys seen what i did sanding it and all so today i just got it cleaned up washed rinsed Nothing too special, just rinsed it, blew it dry with a blower, and I'm gonna start applying the primer. So, this is a primer I'm using, it's a light gray from O'Reilly's. I'm gonna start with the back, guys, because it, it's been a while since I've spray painted anything, so I wanna make sure if I make any mistakes, I start with the back. So guys, these cans, uh, when you start shaking them, they might seem like they don't have the little ball inside to help uh, mix. But the harder you shake, if you kind of give it this kind of angle, give it a couple strokes. All right, guys. If you guys have any face mask you can use, maybe from COVID, I would suggest you guys do that. Since it is going on heavy, I probably recommend going like within six to eight inches of the surface. Only because it probably applies a lot better and you just want to give it just enough to where it's not you're not causing it to 
to drip. And this is just a primer, guys. This is not the color it's gonna be. This is strictly so the so the actual paint sticks better. It's about 10 minutes. I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes, guys. Then I'll come back and uh, flip it over and get the front side of it. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been about an hour. I had to go do something, but uh, I got the back done already. Everything turned out excellent. Didn't have any issues. Now I'm gonna do the front. Shake it up a little bit. Show you how it goes. Maybe I should put a cap on that, huh? I would say try to keep a good distance like I mentioned before so you don't have a lot of overspray. You're not wasting product. But I'd say probably at about six inches is a good it's a good place to be. You guys get the gist. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hitting it from the front. <laughs> Can't help but to think certain things. I'll be back. Hey guys, I know it's not gonna make a huge difference, but what I would recommend is make sure around the lug nuts, around where the lug goes, um, make sure you get a really nice heavy layer in there. Only because you know you're gonna be torquing it down it's going to be cracking around that surface and you'd hate for it to start peeling in those areas all right guys i got the front side primered i'm gonna do the back side satin black I'll show you guys how it goes all right guys i'm back i was feeling a little bit discouraged because let me clean this this camera so i was getting a little bit discouraged because i i was debating if i did like an 800 grit sand on it and i ended up doing it and it got really nice and smooth and this is the first base after i did the uh the primer so looks nice so far this is all still wet so i'll show you guys the, the results the finished product when we get there but uh Again, I'm still just working on one. I got the other three sticking around. So this video mainly is for you guys to learn from my mistakes. We can learn from these mistakes together. I know everybody likes posting on YouTube the perfect way to do it or the easiest way. This is the way I'm doing it and we're gonna learn from my mistakes. All right, guys, hopefully there's not too many. All right, guys, so this is the finishing product. Check it out. How nice does that look? Um, I'm actually quite surprised. I ended up doing three coats. Um, I'm not too sure how many coats I might have mentioned. This has been uh, curing for about two hours now since the initial coat uh, on the black. And uh, the only complaints I got which is very minor. You see how you can still see the clear um, that I didn't completely peel out and uh, or sand, but that's very minor, guys. I mean, overall, this is a this is gonna give the wheel a great look for my truck. Uh, I am gonna show you guys the truck, and uh, this is the first uh, the initial stages of the truck before I you know, paint it and I put these wheels with some nice tires on there. So you guys are gonna be able to see the process of the truck coming alive really nicely. Um, three coats in the front. Uh, on the outer layer, I got really heavy also. Um, overall, I, I got about four inches off of the surface while I was spraying it. 
that way it gives it a heavy coat especially around the edges guys um i doubt i'll be hitting any curbs but um you know when they're switching out the tires i don't want it to scuff it too much so this is the first one like i said uh let me show you what it's going to be going on those are the old ones i gotta the other three i gotta do but this is my service truck it's a nice box truck it has this nasty peel going on in the back um, it came with a lift gate which is awesome i've already used the hell out of that thing but these are the wheels that it came with and the tires are all different sizes and worn out different differently so those wheels are going to go excellent on this truck um, the front of it actually looks somewhat beat up all right so uh, at some moment at some time i'm gonna take off this grill and get it repainted also the bumper windshields cracked i'm gonna get that replaced but what i want to do guys to this box truck is um i want to buy some raptor uh what is this called raptor bed liner spray that they sell on amazon uh, it seems to be a really good uh option i'm gonna rhino line the whole box and the front of the truck so it'll be i'm thinking of a beige color with black wheels right or green like uh like a army green so that's gonna be something to look forward to but that's gonna do it guys for this episode it got a little bit long um uh, i look forward to taking you guys on the next one hopefully tomorrow i'll do another episode um pretty much today i tackled the wheels i tackled this one wheel and then i, I had to go look at one job diagnose one job and then i just finished uh doing a 2015 gmc sierra 6.6 .6 duramax i did the front brakes and rotors and the wheel hub so made some money today and uh i should have i should have had you guys tag along through all the work that i did today it's about four o'clock just about 4 p.m today and uh so i'm i'm gonna do my best I, I get my uh action camera coming in on uh saturday today's wednesday so uh saturday i should have it in and i'll be able to take you guys along and you know go from one job to the next and that way you guys can see my daily vlogs and keep up with me and show you guys the ins and outs of the business i'm a mobile mechanic i'm sure i might have mentioned that before but uh i guess you could consider this my first vlog right um but the next vlogs hopefully they're they come in a lot better all right guys so sorry i'm a little rusty with time it'll get better thanks guys see you on the next one